Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this video we're going to make our ball and get it to move around our play area. Uh, so first let's start by importing an image that we have. So let's go find where you can download uh, some images. Mine are on my desktop right here. Uh, so I'm going to use this ball.png and I'm going to drag that into uh, my project folder. Uh, I'm going to put it into assets uh, and then I'll put it into my sprites folder. Uh, I'm going to take that ball and put it into the hierarchy. Uh, you can see where it shows up right here in the game view. Uh, if I zoom in, it's sitting on top of the paddle. And so I want to use my move tool, so I press W and just scooch that up a little bit so it sits above our paddle. Uh, and then we need to add some components to this ball uh, so that it can bounce off the walls and our paddle. Uh, the first of which is a circle collider. So circle collider 2D. We're going to add that in. Uh, we need a material for this so it actually will bounce off of the walls uh, and not change speed or anything like that. Uh, so back in my assets folder, I'm going to right click in this blank area, go to create 2D and then physics material 2D. Now I'm just going to call this my ball material. Uh, and then we're going to drop the friction all the way down to zero. And then we're going to increase the bounciness to one. Uh, and then we can go back to our ball object uh, and drag and drop that material onto uh, the physics material channel right there. Uh, next, we're going to be moving this ball with physics. Uh, and so we need a rigid body 2D component. So I just start, start typing in rigid body and uh, rigid body 2D pops up there. We want its mass uh, to be really, really small, so like 0.001. Uh, and then we don't want to use gravity. So here on the gravity scale, we're going to drop that down to zero. We want our collision detection to be really high. So let's change that from discrete to continuous. And then the interpolation, uh, we will set that to interpolate. And that'll set up some good stuff for us. Uh, and then we're going to write a script for this. Uh, so we're going to add a component. Another way to uh, make a new script is just by going to add component, start typing in your script name. Uh, so I'm going to call this my ball script. Uh, and then obviously nothing is called that. Uh, so the, our only option is new script. So I can click on that. It pops in that name for us, create and add. And then it automatically names our script for us. Uh, and that's all set up. We don't have to worry about uh, the file name matching the class name if you do it that way. So uh, after you get that created, go ahead and open up that ball script. And then all we're going to do here is give that rigid body an initial velocity. So here in the start function, uh, we can say uh, get component. And then in angle brackets, uh, we need to make a reference to that rigid body uh, 2D. Uh, and then to end this, we need an open and close parentheses. Uh, and so with that rigid body, we're going to say get component rigid body 2D. Uh, we're going to access its velocity by saying dot velocity. And we're going to set that equal to uh, a new vector 2. And then in parentheses again, uh, we're just going to say uh, 1, comma 1. And let's end that with a semicolon. So let's save this and head back to Unity and see what that gives us. Uh, I'm going to zoom out here in my scene view, even drag that down some more, just so we can see what's going on. And let me hit play. And then our ball's moving. It's moving kind of up and to the right. Uh, but, oh boy, is that slow. Uh, so let's increase that with a variable. So we'll exit play mode, we'll head back to our script, uh, here at the top, let's give us some room, and we'll give a, a public float of speed, uh, just like we did with our paddle. Uh, and then uh, after that vector 2, we're going to multiply that, so times, uh, uh, that is an asterisk, so we'll say times speed, and we'll save that, come back, our speed variable should pop up on our ball. So anything times zero is zero, right? So if we played right now, this wouldn't do anything. Uh, let's start with something like 25. 
And that is going. Um, so maybe slow this down a little more. Uh, so maybe like 10 would be better. And so that's that's got some that's got some kick to it. So that's good. Uh, so this is really it for this video. We just wanted to get our ball in and moving around. Uh, in the next video, we can start to put in the bricks that we're going to uh, be hitting and colliding with and collecting. All right, so join me then.